Hi folks, uh, Robert here again with more training. We're really focusing on structural skill. We haven't done any of that in my video, so I'm gonna focus on that. Now I have this file here. You can I can send you a file. It's from uh, really structural basics uh, framing and documentation from Elise Moss. Uh, I think it's 2013. So anyway, let's get started here. <laughs> I want to look at where we left off, where we placed these beams. We had these joists and purlins here. So what we want to do in this exercise, we want to learn how to create an assembly. So we're on the first floor, so let's zoom in this area right here. So uh, this is between E and G grid. Okay, now first thing we want to do is uh, we want to select these uh, beams inside this grid, these these uh, flanges and pedals we put. So I want to hit the control key and select this one, that, that one, that one. Just pick them all up. So now we have them all selected. All you need to do to create an assembly is go to this, this tab right here and select it. And then you get this dialog box. It'll say new um, assembly. Uh, this is this where you name it. So I'm going to call this interior curlings. And it's under category of structural framing, which is why it's grayed out because it's taking the category from the in assembly. And it will say OK. So now, or in our project browser, we scroll, let me collapse the families here. And we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see this where um, this little assemblies tag, this is where your assemblies will go, and you click it. And there's our interior purlins that we created. Um, so next thing we want to do in this group or this assembly, it, it's all together now. So we can select it. And let's go into our copy command. And then we want to select multiple here. So let's just go here. Let's use this point as our origin point. And we'll copy these over to here. So that message is saying is a new assembly was created. That's okay. Then we'll come down here. Using the same origin point, like one there, and we'll come across to here. And we can escape out of this now. Now, what happened here is we basically created these new assemblies and what we need to do now is basically go in and rename these so we can identify them. So let's just go and say, let's call our original one. We rename this assembly and we'll call it C1. through E2. Let's rename this one. C3 to E4. E1 
through G2. And the fourth and final one, we'll rename it to E3 to G4. And there you have it. So basically what we did, we just we just created a group here and see what happens in the properties dialog box. It'll come up. There's our C1 to E2. There's our other one. And so on and so forth. Now I'm going to try something here. We're going to see if we can get the text here. Now we can edit an assembly. Well, let's see if we can do it this way. I don't think you can, but I'll try it anyway. We go tag all, structure framing tags, apply. Oh, it works. Hit OK. So that's how you create an assembly. You can do a lot more with these things. Like I can double click here on this this individual assembly. And you see what happens. I want to cancel that out. You can also edit these. So there are a lot that you can do with assemblies. Well, I'll play around with them. This is just a brief example of how to create an assembly. Uh, so I, again, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you for doing it. And if you like it, uh, place a comment or if you got a quicker or better way to do it, let me know. Anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to cancel that. Thank you for watching. Just let me show you something here right quick. Now, if you edit this, if you select this guy, you can hit Edit Assembly. You can add or remove things here. So I want to remove one of these. I can hit that and remove it. And I click finish. It goes away. Well, it's supposed to go away. But anyway, uh, I'm going to cut it short here. We'll move on later. But that's how you create an assembly. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.